Road, road trip. trip. <laughs> yes, we're on a road trip. We're going someplace very, very special, and I know you're going to love it because there's a little bit of everything down here. A little history, a little uh, spooky, and everything. And I'm not gonna stay on here. I just wanted to say hey. Might take a few pictures now and then along the way, a little video. But uh, we'll see you when we get there. Woo woo! We're following a train. <laughs> I believe this train passes right by the place that we're going. Don't hold me to it, but uh, there it ends. Here's the place we're at. It used to be a train station. And now it's an historical society. Let me take you along with us. Sorry about that. It's raining, so we're going to hurry up and get inside. Oh, big puddle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's flowers. Later on, we're gonna cross that bridge. We've already crossed it once, and I couldn't get the camera out in time to film. So, here we go. We're headed in. It don't matter, you can go first. Yeah, face mask. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. Go get your mask. Oh. Okay. You all filming? Okay. This is a sign for me there, please. I appreciate it. Okay. That's how I get my grant. So that's not a secret. Oh, there you go. Are you all local out of town or state? Uh, Fairmont. Yeah. I grew up in Fairmont. Oh. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Nothing. Years ago. <laughs> about 76 of them. <laughs> well, welcome to Philippine Museum. Let me give you a quick two minute tour, then you can go ahead. The museum's free. Okay. You get charged a dollar to see the mummies. Okay. Uh, because that money goes to the high school for a scholarship in the library. Okay. In the back, we have the infamous mummies. Two women from the insane asylum at West. The one on the left when you go in was 21 years of age when she died giving birth. The one straight ahead was 40. She died of natural causes. We do not have the formula. The Egyptian mummies take a hook, walk in your nose, pull all your integrals out. He didn't do that. He left everything intact, drilled a hole in her stomach, pumped them full of fluid, turned them upside down in their tight box. Did that three times, six months, came out as hard as this floor you're standing on. Been exposed to air since 1890. Uh, at the flood of 85, by the time we got to them, they were four feet under water. Um, they lost their hair. Now they are ugly as can be. But <laughs> we still own them. <laughs> we still have them. Uh, we do, like I said, we do not have a formula. The Smithsonian Institute for years has wanted it and everything. We have some ingredients that he used and what he did. And you can read all the... the interior and everything of where the federal government gave him permission, what he did and everything else. And as you're going around, if you have any questions at all, just call. Okay. We'll see what we can do to answer them. And you are allowed to film and you are allowed to take pictures. Okay. okay. So we thank you. Enjoy yourself. Any questions? Yeah. Okay. Well, read, read what he did. He talked to Ed Larry uh, about, oh, that's you? Yeah, that's me. Okay. <laughs> well, you can, you can, He's, he's the one that called you about uh, doing the thing with the mummies. Uh, the, we're looking at um, them. Or? The spirit detection. Oh, yeah, you can. Uh, 
<clears throat> just as long as you don't touch him, you're fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to touch him. I have no him. desire to touch him. I heard it might be good luck, but I don't want to. Right. We, uh, we don't need that much. That's all right. Yeah, well, I appreciate it. It's that. worth that oh, yeah. to us. Yeah, you can film. Uh, we have a couple doctors <laughs> from out of Virginia that want to do DNA. The lady that owns these mummies is 90 some years old and lives in Charleston. Now, how she and her family got ownership of them, we do not know. We just know that Hammer was the one that did know the mum protection, and uh, he's well known uh, with stuff in there. And, and before you leave, take a copy of this because a lot of people won't believe you, but this will give you the history, the mummies, and the mummification. Okay, and, great, great. Everything that we have on that. So, uh, Cool. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Well, uh, thank you, bunch. Okay, I do have some questions. I've read uh, two conflicting stories. It's just minor details, but it said the mummies were worked on at the hospital or in the barn. Do you know which place? We tend to say the barn. Okay. Okay, that's what we look at, uh, lean to because that's where he had them. Okay. That's where we had That makes it. sense. One last thing. Do you have directions to handle the grave? Yes. Okay. So you're going back out of town, you can go 119. Okay. 250 towards right there. You'll see the coal mines on the right hand side. Right when you get at the top of the hill, there's a Mary's Chapel. Yeah, he saw it on the right. On the left. Now his tomb is clear on the other side of the church going down the hill. You can park in Mary's Chapel and walk that way. There is a road a past Mary's Chapel as you start down the hill that goes up to the side of the Sometimes you need four road drive rain and stuff, you know how they can get to it. But you can park in Mary's Chapel and say this is Mary's Chapel and you'll park right here in the sign. Okay. Going back and down over the hill on this side is his grave. And furthest away. Okay. Cool. And back here are the mummies. Wow. Would you like to talk to us? I'm so sorry. I hope you're not offended by us being here.
Okay, there it goes. Let me turn it probably all the way up. That's almost all the way up there. You're not going to be able to hear. It's not that loud. It's all the way up. Take these papers. Oh. All right. Can you tell me what your names were? Other. Do you know why you were admitted to the hospital? What? Was the hospital a nice place? How were you treated at the hospital? <laughs> Who was your doctor? When did you die? How did you die? How do you feel about what Graham Hamrick did to you? What? Are you happy about where you are now? How did you feel about traveling Europe with Barnum? Oh, there's a little bit. Yeah. Here, this other people want to come in here. Yeah. And thank you for everything. Appreciate it. Stop that. You too. Thank you. Um. Coming up in future videos, look for more tales from the Barber County Historical Museum to be coming your way. And there will be some surprises for you all. 
I'm sure. Uh, so in the meantime, uh, peace and believe because the spirits are out there. Bye-bye.